if you're feeling the length, then maybe we need to have a word with ourselves. If you're not feeling it, I, I'm going to get audio clipped on this, aren't I? Reggae John Page is my special guest on the Radio on Breakfast show this morning. The new film, The Grey Man, is out on Netflix right now. I think... Well, I know your character would be good at this. Because he'd have many, many unpopular opinions. Yeah, and I do think you'll be good at it as well. And I know you've got a great singing voice, so don't hold back. Here we go. Okay, come and give us your unpopular opinions. Something up to now that you've been scared, scared to say. Something there. You know it. You know it. You do know it. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good bit. I enjoy the show, mate. Oh, great okay, That's nice. That's my unpopular opinion. I enjoy the show. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Williams first. Hello, William. Hello. What's your unpopular opinion? I like following tractors down the road. On foot? <laughs> no, no, in the car. <laughs> oh, you, you mean you like being stuck behind tractors? Yeah. Huh. It sounded for a second like you wanted, you tracked down tractors, yeah. like an airplane watcher, and just like, oh, there's one. Yeah. That'll be a it's good a, ride. <laughs> tractor tracker. Tell us why you like this. Uh, I like to play like a little game with myself and try and guess what it is before I go past it. A bit <laughs> of tractor spotting. <laughs> That's really good. I like that. <laughs> Reggae, you've driven a tractor before? Never, not in my life. Huh. I think you look good on a tractor. William, thank you for your unpopular opinion. Let's go again. Have a good day, William. You too. Cheers. Thank you. Okay. Cheers, William. Oh. Come and give us your unpopular opinions Something up till now that you've been scared to say Lovely. Our voices work very well together, actually. Yeah, I kind of decided to drop the octave so we blend better. Thank you. Sarah! Watching spots being popped on YouTube is the next best thing. Nah. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> Not for me. There's a lot of nope there, but I'm going to go the other way. I think this is a disqualification because that's actually very popular. It's disgusting. <laughs> but very popular. Do you enjoy it? I don't. I it. But a lot of people do. I think I've got a, potentially that phobia of, uh, of, of, of potholes, those little ho- like holes, pot, oh, pot like holes people, and things. Are you scared of like um, sponges? Not sponges, but on sometimes on tarmac, when I yep. see lots of clusters of holes. Well, I mean, I think holes in tarmac is terrifying in general. No, it's like li- little, like, little, little, little ones. Little holes, clusters right. of little holes. Oh, he, he looks genuinely disturbed. I'm I'm quite disturbed. <laughs> I've realised I've got a phobia that I didn't know I really had. So, come on then, Sarah, talk, talk us through it. This, maybe this is the way to face my fear. So talk us through the ones you really love. I love the fifth, you know, the big, puffy <laughs> ones. The most. I find it quite therapeutic. <laughs> like, and, like, I'll always, like, inspect my husband before I go to bed to see if he's got any spots anywhere. Mm. <laughs> Just so I can pop one. Yeah, Dr. Pimple Popper is my favourite, I must admit. Dr. Pimple Popper. Probably like a multi-millionaire as well, Dr. Pimple Popper. I, I think Probably she is, point. yeah. What kind of ads do you get on your YouTube? Like, what, what does YouTube think that you want to see after you've been watching Dr. Pimple Popper? So just loads of different ones come up, like blackheads, watch blackheads be part, abscess on animals. I'm like... Yes, come on. So the only thing I do like is when you know those nose strips. Yep, yep, yep. I like that. I like seeing what comes off the nose strip. So Have you li- considered that once you've done the nose strip, mm. that your nose is essentially that bit of road you just said that you're scared of? Yeah, true, true. But the pores are clear. But the pores are clear. Yeah. So it's only dirty time. Like I just like looking at it and then I shine my phone torch on it so it looks like an upside down, like a little Stonehenge. Do you know what I mean? The little you live bits. a charmed life, sir. That's 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 my life, <laughs> Sarah. Let's stop this before it gets even more depressing. Sarah, thank you so much for a good time. This is Sebum Stonehenge. <laughs> okay, let's go again. Uh, we've had William and Sarah, and now come and give us your unpopular opinions. Something up till now that you've been scared to say. We go to Warrington, and Mike is in Warrington. Mike, what's going on, Mike? Episodes of TV shows shouldn't be longer than an hour. Mm. Mm. Topical. Mm. Topical. <laughs> <laughs> what's, uh, what, what's brought this on? Because I feel like you're, you've been burnt by something. Yeah, so my girlfriend and I have just started watching Stranger Things. Yeah, um, I know we're very, we're very late to the party. The first few seasons is fine because they're all about an hour, 50 minutes, something like that. But mm. we're just getting to the end of the new season. And like episode eight or whatever is like one hour 40. And then the final episode is like two and a half hours. hours, Like Uh at that point, either turn it into a film. I mean, even then two and a half hours too long for a film, but that's, you know, different story. Um, (laughs) Depends on the movie. Lord of the Rings ended about three times. Yeah, true. Then you need to keep, you know, stopping and starting. Or you can just split it down into like three different episodes or something like that. And then it's a longer series and everybody's happy because instead of an eight episode series, you've got a 12 episode series. Yeah. What you're talking about here is a, is a, is a breaking of trust. 
isn't it? With with the with between you and the show, because you sign up for an hour long an episode, and then suddenly they hit you with a two forty. And In that's fairness, a lot. they did warn you with Stranger Things. Well, yeah, but it looks like what they're doing is they've started to sort of surreptitiously go add an extra five minutes each time. But like, it, do, you remember, do you remember the twits? You know, when Mr. Twit would add a bit of extra length to the to the uh, walking stick of Mrs. Twit, and oh, she didn't realise yeah, that she was getting yeah, actually. Yeah. She thought she was shrinking, but actually it was the thing getting taller. So what you're saying is that this is deliberate torture. It's deliberate torture. That's exactly what I'm saying. It's a heavy accusation, Mr. James. Let's just bring <laughs> let's just bring back another point you raised there, Mike, which is about anything being longer than and a film being longer than two hours 40 but they shouldn't be longer than two hours 40 yeah mm. i think you know the, the perfect film should be no longer than 90 minutes how long's the gray man i feel like it's longer than 90 minutes yeah but it's not it's not over two is it i don't think so no it wouldn't be over it two. doesn't feel like it's over two. no that's that's and that's <laughs> crucial that is crucial that's the, well this is the other thing because i think that's the challenge for filmmakers and artists, is that it's not how long it is it's how long it feels like yes it. yes Do you know what i mean yeah and so if you're feeling the length then maybe we need to have a word with ourselves if you're not feeling it i i'm gonna get audio clipped on this aren't i um yeah it's a great <laughs> quote if you're feeling the length it's a bad thing mikey morrington thank you for your unpopular opinion no problem cheers mike let's do a couple more uh we'll go to luke next but first come and give us your unpopular opinions something up till now that you've been scared to say oh we're in the barrett's home yeah, range I, now i tried to out deep you reggae i couldn't do it <laughs> luke Good morning. Um, you're doing a Radio 4 good morning there. This could be quite serious. Luke, what's your unpopular opinion? Good morning. Nobody really loves their job, and we would all stop turning up if we didn't get paid. Ooh. Mm. I think nobody might be difficult. You mm. would? Yes, I would t- keep turning up to my job. I'm, I feel very blessed in that way, actually. Yeah, I think... I, I was having a conversation the other day about the Euro millions. Mm. Oh, if I won the yep. Euro millions, 190 million... I don't think you'd ever see, hear from me or see me ever again. You see, I think you'd get bored, though. No. Nah. I think our jobs would be different mm. if we didn't have to be paid for them. I think that we'd make them a lot more fun, but I think we'd look for stuff to do. What do you do, Luke? Um, well, I'm an accountant for a large company, which probably does explain my attitude a little bit. <laughs> so that might explain a couple of things. <laughs> so you're saying nobody really likes their job. I just don't... I mean, I would, I would actually do the breakfast show for free. G- genuinely, I would. Don't um, say that where they can hear you. Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's, that's true. I won't now. No, no but I, I, I would have done. Here's a scenario. I'm going to make sure that you have a great life and you're, you're going to be able to go on holiday when you like. You can eat whatever you want. You can buy whatever house you want up to a certain value. But you, then, you can then pick any job to go and do for, say, five or six hours a day. What would you go and do? Probably something outside. I live in Yorkshire somewhere, like outside in Yorkshire Dales, preferably. You could always go and do a job. I was going to go somewhere. I was like, would you? Would you fish? Do you know what I mean? Like if that if that made the living, and like would you just go out and kind of sit and fish for a while? And they paid you enough for that. Potentially, potentially. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I think the jobs would change. It's more that what, that what we actually want to do. Would you do that? Do you want to go fishing? Would I fish for a living? Absolutely. Would so you? Do you like fishing? Um, no, never been, but it looks great. Yeah. <laughs> if you weren't being a movie star and you got paid for doing a thing, what would you do? Honestly, I'm I'm a house cat, mate. I'd take a nap and I'd do a jigsaw every now and then. <laughs> which is probably jigsaw. why I went to fishing, because I feel like I could do those things <laughs> and fish. Luke, I think you should change your career. <laughs> uh, In the modern day and age, I figure that you could probably push to do some counting outside. Yeah, fair enough. Get yourself a mobile Wi-Fi hotspot. Do, do the counting on the boat. Take him to my garden, at least. Exactly. Yeah. Luke and Leeds, thank you so much. Let's do one more. Okay. Am I going to go high or low here? High or low, high or low. Uh, I'm going to surprise you. Come and give us your unpopular opinions. Something up to now that you've been scared to say. William, Sarah, Mike, Luke, and finally, Callum. Harry Styles just isn't that good. He was there in one direction. That is unpopular and dangerous. Are you on the internet, sir? Because you're not going to be for long. (laughs) (laughs) Callum in Cardiff, look, just keep an eye out your window for Uh, those Harry Styles fans. To be fair, I love that you went hard on this one. You were like, what is unpopular? You're one step down from gunning for BTS, mate. Yeah. (laughs) What is it about the new Harry Styles that you don't like? Oh, I just don't know. I think it's since Watermelon Sugar. Mm. That song just I'm really not a fan. Hmm. But what about his sort of his whole his whole aura now is better. His whole aesthetic is better. I mean, yeah, him as a person it's fine, just his music. I just tend to turn him over quite a lot. 
Yeah, you know, like golden. That's quite a nice one. Yes, so no, golden. I, I feel like it's a bit overrated. Mm. I feel like it might be part of you need to kind of buy into the whole package. It's the good yeah. vibes that you get from the Harry Styles package that the music is a piece of. That might be the the balm to this particular itch that you have, sir. Callum. No, sorry. <laughs> Not even like buying a jumpsuit for a laugh in the summer? Maybe for a laugh, maybe for a festival, but mm. I, I don't think I'll be listening to Harry Styles anytime soon. This is really soon. funny. You kind of just made us both a little bit sad. All right, well, um, we disagree with you, uh, fundamentally. Uh, <laughs> but respect. And, and wholeheartedly as well. <laughs> like, re- like, fully. Callum, thank you so much. And Reggae, thank you for being on today. Thank you very much. It was a joy. And uh, The Grey Man is out now on Netflix. And we hope you come back sometime soon. Would you like to? Yeah, it felt like it was over in seconds.